Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18. Hey, we're here in uh, Southern California and uh, we got a load. We got a load, but it doesn't load until tonight. So we're hanging out uh, an undisclosed location because I don't want to give up. No, it's at um, it's at the Cowboy Burger and Barbecue. There's a bunch of truck parking back here. On the map, it's actually marked as the Cowboy Truck Stop. So uh, you ever need somewhere to stay? It's over here kind of by, by Fontana, Ontario, that area. So uh, yeah. Um, starting to fill up it's it's uh, almost 4 p.m. and there's still a lot of spots left so I thought I got kind of lucky uh, but anyway we're gonna hang out until tonight because we don't load until tonight and we load a couple miles down the road so uh, anyway that's what we're gonna do until then I'm just gonna be trying to maybe clean this truck up a little bit and um, you know just maybe take a nap because I'm gonna be trucking through the night once again once again trucking through the night but uh, anyway that's that's the intro that's it I see that's, that's the only intro you get no more no more messed up intros i messed up a couple times on this intro but we're just gonna leave it we're not gonna do that anymore we're not gonna take eight takes to get one intro all right so roll the music I've had about enough cleaning. Uh, it's like 96, 98 degrees, something like that. It was 98, now it's 96, I don't know. But uh, anyway, it, it's warm, so I'm, I'm gonna cool off back here in the sleeper with the uh, with the AC on, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try to uh, take a little bit of a nap, because we're gonna have to run through the night tonight. So I gotta get some sleep, man. I gotta get a little bit of a nap in, because uh, it's a long distance, 500 miles, and we're gonna have to truck it all through the night, and yeah, so I, I'm not I'm not looking forward to uh, to tonight if I don't get a nap in. So hopefully I can get a nap, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, naps are hard to come by sometimes. But I woke up early this morning, so hopefully that means I'll be able to fall asleep. I don't know, we'll see. All right, uh, we're gonna go in here and get some uh, some cowboy barbecue though before we uh, before we head out. So. I just gotta set an alarm, make sure I'm awake before 10 o'clock, because they close at 10 o'clock. So uh, before 10 p.m., we'll go do some El Gordo Velox at the Cowboy Barbecue uh, spot right here, all right? Yeah. I can't sleep, so we're gonna come over here and get a little bit of dinner. But the uh, truck doesn't look that bad. Wipe down the tires too a little bit. Well, let's get in here and get some dude dinner, some some food, some din din. El Coco Gordo Vela. <laughs>
All right, so they had uh, they had some some TV on in there, so I went ahead and uh, I didn't talk at all. Um, I'm probably gonna put music over what I just recorded, so I'm gonna tell you guys about what I just ate. I had a, I had the uh, the cowboy steak sandwich, um, and it was good. Um, it was weird because they put like American cheese on it, and it's supposed to have like you know like onions, peppers, and uh, and uh, mushrooms with like Swiss cheese. I think they ran out of Swiss cheese, so they just threw some American on there because it was like half and half. Um, or maybe it's supposed to be both. Maybe it's supposed to be like half Swiss, half American. I don't know. But so it kind of had a weird weird vibe to it. It had avocado, lettuce, and tomato, and mayo. And so uh, it was all right. It was all right. The steak was actually like really, really, really good. And that's kind of, you know, anything else. You can, you can have anything else on it. As long as they do the steak right, it's a good sandwich. So, not uh, you know, not the worst sandwich I've ever had, not the best sandwich I've ever had, and um, you know, it was all right. It was, it was it's pretty good. I wanted to try the barbecue, but it doesn't it doesn't look like the kind of barbecue I like. I like uh, uh, everything that they had that was barbecued was like covered and, and drenched and bathed in, in uh, barbecue sauce, and I'm not a big barbecue sauce guy. I like barbecue, but I like dry rubbed fresh barbecue and I've been here for hours and I haven't smelled any barbecue cooking over there so they might have cooked that stuff earlier today and just reheating it or yesterday I don't know I don't know I'm not accusing them of anything I, I didn't even try it all right I'm just saying I haven't smelled any barbecue since I've been here so I decided against getting anything like that got the steak which is cooked on the flat top so anyway um, I'm gonna try again to shut my eyes because it's gonna be a long night really long night if I can't get some sleep so let's get some sleep and then um, I tried to set up the camera hopefully I, I like you know raise the exposure up a little bit so maybe I can get some driving footage tonight like real driving footage so I don't know we'll see all right see you guys when uh, we go make this pickup let's go this sunset's kind of too cool not to uh, get on camera so you're gonna have to deal with a little bit of sunset that's just how it goes. There we go. That's that's the right amount of zoom right there. See all those sunbursts? That's not camera, that's real life. No filter. All right, go, gotta go to bed. All right, so um, I couldn't sleep a lick and I read some reviews and the reviews said that um, sometimes if you check in early, you can get loaded early. And uh, sometimes they tell you go park outside until your appointment time. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna try it because I can't sleep anyway. So I'm just gonna come back here. I'm gonna check in back here at Americold, uh, right here in Fontana, and we're gonna see if we can see if we can get loaded early. Then we'll stop and take a nap a little later. I think that's gonna be my best bet anyway. So I'm gonna get in here and we'll check this out right now. So, it's not even 9.30, have an 11.30 appointment. Decided I'd come over here and see if I could check in. And they said, go to door 14, woo! Well, first she said, maybe we can get coffee sometime. 
<laughs> sometimes it pays to be this good look no i'm joking um no uh she did say something like that but it's because i she said uh do you know where you're going i said yeah some coffee place up in woodland california and she goes oh should we get coffee sometime and i'm like oh, and i couldn't hear you know it's one of those st stupid things where they're talking through the glass and it took me a minute I'll, i just kind of smiled and nodded like yeah and then i realized because she kind of laughed so i figured it was a joke and then it like dawned on me afterwards like oh she said we should get coffee sometime uh sorry jessica i may have agreed to that in order to get this door <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> all right but we're gonna get over here we're gonna back up into door 14 um yeah we're gonna spin around and we're gonna do something we're gonna do something kind of kind of crazy to get get situated in the right in the right way so let's do it let's do it all right so it's now 11 30 i got my paperwork and uh so this was my appointment time it was 11 30. so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get out of here we're gonna roll we're leaving here at our appointment time how cool is that all right everything's doing good let's get out of here all right so we're getting out of here man it is uh it is just after 11.30, it's like 11.40, man. And um, I got 459 miles to go according to my, or 455. 455 miles to go according to my GPS. And uh, we're, we're, um, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited that we got out of there because it's about an eight hour drive plus a stop to get fuel. So it'll be about eight and a half hours uh, for us to get up to Woodland. It's uh, north of Sacramento. So, we, uh, we needed to kind of, you know, well, we weren't going to be able to stop and take a nap. And now, because we're driving through the night, I'm going to stop and, and take a nap. So we got out of here at 11.40. Uh, so if we drove straight through as fast as we could, we get there right around 8 o'clock. But we have a, uh, we have a, uh, we have an 11 a.m. appointment there. So, and it seems like a kind of place where appointments won't matter. I'm probably like one of the only trucks they're getting in there today. It's a real small receiver coffee place. So I'm thinking I can show up whenever, but I know I'm gonna get tired. So I'm gonna need to take a couple hour nap somewhere in there. So uh, I'll take a couple hour nap, let the Sacramento traffic hopefully die down a little bit. And then, uh, got like a crazy light flashing behind me crazy light uh, anyway so um, yeah that's what we're doing right now is uh, we're heading out here so we're gonna hit the road I'm actually already hitting the road uh, I'm gonna shut the camera down and uh, get on uh, uh, I-10 take I-10 to uh, the 57 cut up through San Dimas to catch the 210, take the 210 to the 5, take the 5 all the way up to Woodland. So uh, basically, once I get through uh, Pasadena, I'm pretty much done with any, um, you know, uh, highway changes. That's it. We're, we're just staying on I-5 all the way up. So. I'm gonna shut my mouth now. We're gonna drive a little bit. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a little bit of driving footage and then I'll, uh, I'll probably wait until I stop for fuel or something to talk to you guys again and update you guys on how it's going. Oh, I need to tell you one other thing. It's only three pallets. So I knew it was only 4,000 pounds and like, like 3,900 and something pounds. So I knew it wasn't gonna be much, especially when they said dairy product. I was like, there's no light dairy product like there's no lightweight dairy product so my thought was maybe it's not that many pallets and sure enough three pallets and one of them is like a pint size you know like a little half pallet so um yeah super light load excited I, i'm excited to get on the road and get down there and make a little bit of money we'll talk money uh in the morning once it's daylight hours We'll probably talk when we're making the delivery. Although three pallets, it may take, it may get done like that. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can get in and out over there. All right, it's two fifty. 
650 in the morning and this is the second truck stop that is just wall to wall all the fuel islands are filled what is going on normally I can stop and get fuel in the middle of the night no problem but I'm having issues today the other one there was like uh, it's where the cheaper fuel was it was an easy trip this is the pilot uh, but there was a <laughs> there was a line out to the to the street there's only like six pumps and those were all full and then there was like four trucks waiting so I just turned around and backed right out of there because I was like yeah no thanks but anyway let's get some fuel and uh, keep on heading north So we uh, hyperspeeded our way into the daylight, and uh, man, we had to stop and take a three-hour, three-hour little rest over here at the rest area in Wesley, California. So we got about 90 miles to go, and uh, we got about two hours to go get there. So we're gonna, we're gonna get on our, get on our way now. And this guy might hit my trailer. Ooh, that was close. All right, gotta get out of here. Let's go. I think my GPS grabbed the wrong building, so it's actually the one next door here. They do have a dock, so I think I'm gonna have to try and hit that dock. <laughs> Should be interesting. All right, so uh, it looked like nobody was there. And in fact, nobody is there. There's a note on the window that says, uh, delivery drivers, call this number. So I called that number and um, he said, oh man, yeah, we're gonna have to reschedule. I don't have anyone there today. <laughs> what? So um, I'm gonna call the broker right now and just see what see what they want to do because um, well, the fact is is that it's coming off my trailer one way or another, or they're gonna pay for me to store it on my trailer uh, over the weekend and I'll maybe I'll come back and deliver it Monday for a redelivery fee, but. Uh, Glad I ran through the night to get here by 11 a.m. <laughs> it's like 10.55, so I made it just in time. But, all right, we'll figure this out. I'll let you guys know what happened. All right, so I've, uh, I've waited patiently here. Um, well, it's been an hour since I've got here, so it's, uh, it's, it's noon now. Um, so I've been waiting. I think by the time I got off the phone with those guys last time, it was like 5 after. So I gave them 55 minutes to kind of try to figure it out and uh, get a hold of these guys at this at this receiver and work out a plan and uh, I hadn't heard anything back so I gave him a call back and um, he just said sorry man yeah they, uh, I talked to a guy and uh, he gave me the number for another guy and uh, I can't get a hold of that guy right now so uh, yeah man I know that he's like I'm really sorry I know this isn't the way you figured a three three pallet load would would take even this long and I said, yeah, I said, well, I said, really, it, it kind of just seems like they really legitimately aren't going to receive it today, which means I need to, um, I need to get, get where I'm going. I said, uh, and actually I, if they're going to leave the product in the trailer, then we're going to ch charge them a storage fee and a redelivery fee. And what I'll do is I'll take the trailer home and I'll drop it and I can, I can re return it on, uh, I can redeliver it on Monday for a fee. And, um, so he just kind of said, uh, uh. I, you know, he just kind of was like, oh my gosh, can, can you do that? <laughs> can, he was like, like kind of bummed that I wasn't just going to, I don't know, spend the night. He goes, is there a truck stop nearby? So anyway, oh, they're calling now. Let's see what they want. All right. So, um, it's actually, uh, about 430 right now. Uh, so when, uh, when the broker called, he said, Hey, you got a couple options and neither of them are very good, but um, 
You can either wait for the guy that's driving back from Oregon. He's in Medford, Oregon right now, and he'll be there in about five and a half hours. And we can offload you tonight around six. Or um, you know, you can take the take the load back, you know, to your yard, and and we can try to charge him a redelivery fee. And um, I said, well, y'all you know, kind of. I'll kind of defer to you guys, you know, what do you think, you know, how how hard do you think it'll be to, to kind of, you know, I don't, I don't want to abuse them on the redelivery fee and all that, but how much do you think we could get out of them? And uh, he said, well, you know, I, I, he's like, it's not very common. This is a weird situation. He's like, so I don't even know. Um, and I said, well, what's your detention? You know, what are we looking at? I said, because I try to get, you know, at least $100 an hour. Uh, I said, I try to get $100 an hour. But uh, that doesn't ever seem to go over well. But uh, you know, if we could at least get fifty dollars an hour for every hour that I'm here, not just uh, he goes. Well, we can do fifty dollars an hour. He goes, but it caps out at three hundred. So whether you're there for, he's like basically once you're there for six hours, you're you're capped out. And uh, he goes, but you'll basically be there for um, you know six. He's like, well, seven hours, counting your your time, and then maybe take them in a little while to unload you. So maybe over seven. He's like, but we can get you $300 um, in detention, no problem. So I said, you know what, let's just, I'll just hang out and we'll get this thing offloaded. We'll get the trailer empty so we can just start start next week fresh, man. So that's what we're doing. We're hanging out. We're waiting. And uh, so while we're waiting, I wanted to talk the uh, talk the, the numbers. So 455 miles. Uh, we had 1,700 on the rate until they are going to get us this extra detention. So we're going to get $2,000 on this rate. Uh, which comes out to four dollars and thirty nine cents per mile to come up from uh, Ontario, which it was like right on the Fontana Ontario line, because uh, yeah, it was it was kind of weird. But anyway, Ontario up here to uh, Woodland. So uh, and there's some deadhead around. Um, you know, I, I deadheaded from um, City of Commerce out to uh, Ontario to um, to spend the night out there and kind of look for a load, and then got a load the next night. So you know then then obviously I'm gonna to have to deadhead from Woodland back to my yard so there's gonna there's gonna be deadhead miles I just didn't figure them all in but you guys know the drill by now you guys know you know if I'm saying it's a 440 a loaded mile we're probably closer to 350 a mile with all miles included so um, I didn't even do the numbers on that I'm just saying I'm guessing so anyway uh, it's what we're doing we got the truck show this weekend so we're gonna do that and uh, yeah we're gonna we're going to try and get over here and see how we're going to get in this dock. So <laughs> it should be fun. All right. So this dock here is the one we're trying to get into. This dock here. And as you can see, we got this little driveway area to pull up in. So I should be able to get it. I think what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to, pull all the way around over here and there's another entrance all the way over here around the corner and so I'll pull in over there come around this corner come this way real close to these dumpsters and then uh, swing out nose up to that fence and then try and back it down think think we should be able to get it oh yeah we got in here pretty easy we pulled up just like we thought all right we're gonna sign off love you guys peace out see you on the next load